Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing another realistic rebuild of the Colts. The last one I did, I recorded right before Andrew Luck retired. Got very unlucky there. But I want to see what happens to this team with Jacoby Brissett as the quarterback. Obviously, in Madden 20, he's going to go off because he's a sim beast. But in real life, I think it'll be a little bit different. They did sign him to a two-year extension, so... He'll probably be around for two years, but if they do poorly this year, do they try to go for two or trade up and get him? I'll probably not because the Dolphins. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Lane. Today, I'm doing another realistic rebuild of the Colts. The one I did a few weeks ago had Andrew Luck in it because I recorded it a week before he retired. Got very, very unlucky. But I want to see how this team does with Jacoby Brissett. And I also wonder, I know he signed a two-year deal, but do they try to get one of the quarterbacks in the 2020 draft? Obviously, if they do very poorly of the first overall pick, they will take Tua. But do they try to get Justin Herbert? Do they try to take Jake from somebody else that hasn't really emerged quite yet? It's going to be very interesting. I'm not going to go over this whole team again. If you want to see me go over the whole team, go a few videos back. It doesn't have Andrew Luck in it. But let's go to the midseason mark and see how this plays out. This is exactly what I mean. There's no chance at the midseason they're going to be 6-1. There's just no way. Even if Percent plays out of his mind, I just don't see it. The Texans are 4-4, four and four, the Titans 3-4-1, and one, and the Jaguars 3-5. and five. I think the Jaguars might win the division. I think they're going to beat the Chiefs in week one. I'm going to bet on it. I'm just saying. I'm recording this before it happens, but I could see it happening. Maybe the Chiefs don't play as well in offense. The Jaguars' defense is awesome, and Nick Foles shows up. Now, do we want to bring in Eric Ebron? Yeah, Jack Doyle's there as well, but he's a little bit older. So I think I'll try, I'll try four years, 4.7 for Ebron. He's going to come right on back. Jack Doyle, I might just let him walk. We're going to have to wait and see. Maybe our left tackle, I might just wait to the offseason. Yeah, I'm not doing two years. Jabal Shear, now we have plenty of money. He wants two years, 7.1. I'm hoping that maybe we can get a quarterback in that draft, like I said. So let's bring Sheard back for two years. He's going to stay with the team. Fudge is there. Now, I know they have Chester Rogers. I know they have Paris Campbell, but I don't know how they're going to perform. So I think I could give him three years, 5.4. Just the, Okay, he's going to take it. That's good. I just think that's the smart idea right there. We have T.Y. Hilton who's getting up there in age. We can have Fudges. We can have either Chester Rogers, Paris Campbell. Gethers, I'll try to bring back three, 2.6. He wants more money. Of course, Vinatieri will wait on. Spencer Ware, I don't really know about that. Now, Chester Rogers, two, two points, uh, maybe. I want to see how he performs before we bring him back. Now, Percent shouldn't be here. He just got that two-year extension. So, we'll franchise tag him, bring him back for one year, hopefully get that quarterback, like I said. I don't know how many times I could say that before you guys get annoyed. Two, 1.4 for Allie Cox. Why not? Good, good, good. All right, let's go to the playoffs. So we won the division at 10-6. and six. We played against the 9-7 and seven Pittsburgh Steelers. The Jaguars went 7-7-2. Seven, seven and two. The Texans 8-8 eight and, eight and the Titans 6-9-1. and one. I want to see how Brissett performed. Wow. 4,400 yards, 36 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Maybe we keep him then. Rushing, Mac 9-16, 6 touchdowns. Where with 5? Receiving Chester Rogers, wow, 1,200 yards, nine touchdowns. I guess he's coming back. Hilton, 906 with four. Funches, 800 yards, four touchdowns. Ebron, 800 with nine. Mack has five touchdowns. Jack Doyle with two. Is Campbell didn't have a single catch. Interesting. On defense, Leonard, 98 tackles. Sack totals, 11 for Justin Houston, wow. Seven and a half for Hunt, six for Sheard. Interceptions, three for Wilson, two for Moore, two for Desir. Now, what about safeties or defensive touchdowns? We have nothing. We have nothing. See, the problem here is I don't think Brissett is the long-term answer for the Colts. I mean, if he played like that in real life, then I suppose he would be. So I guess we're going to have to stick with them. But it's a tough decision. Elliot with the MVP. Where is go? There's Brissett at number five. We have nothing else. Watson at 10. Coach of the year. We're right there at number five. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, Brissett's up to four. I want to say luck for some reason. Defensive player of the year. Miles Garrett won it. Nothing. Offensive rookie of the year. We have nothing. Defensive rookie of the year. Okay, that's nice to see. Anything else? I didn't really know he was a rookie, to be honest. I think yeah, I think I did know that last time I recorded it. Usually before these videos, I look at the team, see who they got in the draft, see if they got in free agency. Didn't do that this time around. Brissette with two is only a 73. That's what I'm talking about. I just don't think he's the answer. Rodgers has three, but we're going to have to stick with him for at least two years. Campbell with three. I don't know how that happens. Three for Nelson. What about on defense? Oh, uh, yeah. What about Rocky City? He has six. It'll be a 76. That's good to see. Okari has three, 69. All right. 
but nothing else too crazy. Two for Wilson, two for Moore. That's pretty good. But let's upgrade our team, see if we can beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, who I don't see making the playoffs this year. I think it's going to be the Browns definitely winning the division, then probably the Ravens if any other teams comes out of it. Let's advance the week. Let's find out. Did we beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? We did. Can we beat the Los Angeles Chargers? I would assume so. I would assume wrong. We lost 35 to 28. Not what I was expecting, obviously. Not how many times I could just say the same thing over and over and over again. That would have been a great game to watch, though. 35 to 28. Hoyer's there. Rivers 189, two touchdowns. Brissett 274, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Gordon 151, two touchdowns. Jackson 61, touchdown for Ware, touchdown for Taylor. Receiving. Why is Tyrod Taylor running? I don't get it. Rodgers, 8 for 112. He's definitely coming back. Ebron, 83 yards. Allen with a touchdown. Hilton with a touchdown. Hendry with a touchdown. Also a touchdown for Funches and Jack Doyle. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go find out who's going to win the Super Bowl. The Chargers beat the Rams 28 to 24. So we lost to the Super Bowl champions. I do like to see that. Rivers, 292, three touchdowns. Goff, 355, two touchdowns, one interception. Gordon, 64 yards. Gurley, 64 with a touchdown. Taylor with a touchdown. Receiving Woods, 10 for 120. Allen, 8 for 118. Benjamin with a touchdown. Touchdown for Cooks. Touchdown for Cup. Two for Hunter Henry. All right. Now, we want to bring back Chester Rogers. Did, I think somebody turned us down other than that. And we have to franchise tag Brissett, which that's going to cost us so much money. What does Costanzo want? He wants one year deal. I, I, I can bring him back for one year. Let's up it a little bit more just to make sure he comes. Actually, let's bring that over four. He should take this offer. He's not interested. Interesting. Not giving him that, obviously. Gathers was it. But 28 years old, three years. I just don't think I want to do it now. Vinatieri, come on back. Thought you were going to retire. I'll go. I'm just going to extend him three years. If he retires, that's fine. But really? Okay. Roger's up the star, though. So let's make sure this happens. Let's go $4 million. Let's go 1.75. He has to take that. Thank you. Now, Brissett up the superstar development. Interesting. I'm going to lowball him. Uh, well, I'm going to try to up it so I can get him for a cheaper one-year deal. It probably won't happen. I want to see if he takes 112.1. Okay, he will. That's fine, then. I could let him walk at the end of the year for sure. Uh, I don't think maybe like Ryan Lewis is a number five guy, but just for one year. We have so much money that we could spend in free agency. I'm very excited to see who's going to be there. I don't know if Hunt is there, if that's definitely the move we want to make. I mean, we have Mac, We have Hines. Let's see, though. He is there. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. They have Autry. They have Lewis. I feel like Chris Jones is a perfect fit for this team. So 72 points from the Giants. Let's go three years, 7.5. 92 points. That's going to be good to see. Henry's there. Kendall Fuller's there. Doesn't make sense. And Gawkway's there. I don't think so. Even though that's cheap money. And Justin Houston is up in, money, er, up in, like, up in age, but I don't know. Ryan Shazier shouldn't be there. Aguilar, Mike Daniels, he's up there in age. But, I mean, Sheard's also up there in age. Justin Houston's up there in age. I almost feel like we should definitely bring in Ngakwe. But I feel like that might be too big. Like, 81 points, though. That's really nothing. If you think about it, it's a scheme fit. I almost have to at this point. We're probably going to have a rookie quarterback or we're going to have Brissett, who's on a one-year deal. And then it's really just Hunt. Do we want to bring in Hunt? I don't think so. We have Mac. He should be a perfectly fine running back for this team, even though I could see it, but I don't want to go too crazy here. We got Chris Jones. We got Ngakwe. That is perfect. Let's go to the draft. The Dolphins actually have the number one overall pick. I do want to skip right ahead here, see if they take two, and they do. That makes sense. What about the Bills? Who would they take? Andrew Thomas. Do the Raiders take Jerry Judy? They do. Okay, that makes sense. Let's go to our pick, number 26. Now, looking at all these players, I think it's either Kramer or Fromm. And Fromm looks really good, but Kramer, we need a right guard. So I don't know what we should really do here. What do we have for second round picks? We have the 23rd and 26th pick. I can't see Jake Fromm still being there. Is there any other offensive lineman we could take? Okay, there are some second round guys. I feel like we have to take Jake Fromm. I think it makes the most sense. I mean, he seems so good, but we could also wait on Easton if we wanted to. 
I don't know. I think we're just going to go with Jake Fromm. I think that'll be the more realistic thing for the Colts to do in the first round. He's a 77 overall, hidden development, 21 years old. He's going to be starting, technically. 91 throw power, 78 deep accuracy, 86 medium, 87 short. Not bad. I think we actually we're going to try to make Brissett start. I don't know if we're going to be able to do that, though. Now, with our two second-round picks, I'm hoping we can get one of those offensive linemen. Harris just went off the board. Jones is still there. Yeah, I mean, we could have waited on Eason. Parkinson, Wallace is there. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Jackson, though, maybe not. What about Wango? Is that how you'd say that? Probably. I mean, we basically have back-to-back -back picks, so we can do whatever we want. The right guard's gone. No right tackle. So I think what we're going to do is take Prince right here. I think we're going to have to. He's a 70 overall, hidden development, 22 years old, 86 strength, 79 run block, 78 pass block. And then maybe we take another receiver. I just don't think that really makes sense for our team. There is a middle linebacker that I like, and he's going to go in the third round. We might have to reach on him right here. I just don't, th we don't need a running back all too bad. I mean, I'd like to take one of these maybe in the third round, but not right now. Don't need a left tackle still. We don't need a corner really. So it's right here. Shaquille Quarterman, I think makes the most sense. I'm going to take him. He's a 74 overall, normal development. I thought he'd be hidden. 80 speed, 79 tackle, 86 block shed, 92 hit power. Heading into year two, we have an 80 overall team, 85 offense, 81 defense. Brissett will be starting. I imagine the computer will change it at some point. He's a 74 overall. Mac 83, Hilton 91, Funch is 81, Rogers is a 77. Ebron 87, the offensive line, 82, 74, 84, 90, and 70. On defense, Moore 81, Houston 84, Jones is a 90, Autry 76, and Gawkway 86, Desir 80, Willis 67, Leonard 88, Quarterman 74, Okery the 74, and Hooker's at 83. I kind of want to put Houston on the trade block. I, I don't know if we'll get anything for him, though. Let's put him on there just to see if we'll get anything. We do have some offers for him. I don't know if they trade him, but... We have Ngakwe, we have Jabal Sheard. We can get a 3, 5, and a 7 from the Giants. That's a little too much if you ask me. So I think we'll just keep him. I don't think that's the most realistic trade. At the midseason mark, we are in third place at 3 and 5. What happened? Is Brissett starting? Is Fromm starting? Let's find out. It is Brissett still. Fromm has 3, though. He's going to have to start next year. Who's going to be a free agent? That is T.Y. Hilton. And what does he want for money at 30 years old? Probably way too much. I would say that's way too much. But we do have a rookie quarterback. It'd probably be good to have a 91 overall guy on the team. So I'm going to see if he'll take four years, 10.9. He will. That is good to see. Houston could go. Ryan Kelly has to come right on back. I'm going to go three years, 6.5, $3 dollars. We're always going to have a ton of money to spend just because of our quarterback. Mack, I want to bring back. Hooker, I want to bring back. Let's go four years, 3.7. That's good to see. Hooker's there. Autry could just walk away. We have Chris Jones. Let's see if Hooker will take four. 3.7. He will. That's good. Autry. Wilson's in there. I want him to come back. Brissette could just walk at that point. He could go play for the Saints. Or he'll go play for the Patriots. One of those teams. He needs better salary. So I will think about that a little bit more. I mean, I want to bring back Walker eventually. Lewis, I don't... Uh, maybe Lewis. We'll have to wait and see what happens with Wilson. But I think we're good to go. Let's see what happens. Of course, this year we missed the playoffs. I wanted that to happen last year so we can get Justin Herbert. How do we do, though? We went 8-8. Eight eight. That's not bad. The Texans 9-6-1. The Titans 9-7. And, and the Jaguars 2-13-1. I mean, really? 2-13-1? How does that happen? Brissett, 3,800 yards, 29 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. A big drop-off. Rushing Mac, 1,200 yards, 6 touchdowns. Hines with 5. Brissett with 5. Receiving Hilton, 874, 8 touchdowns. Ebron, 872 with 6. Rogers, 777, 7 touchdowns. That's a lot of 7s. Funches, 716 with 4. Paris Campbell, still nothing. Gonna have to fix that somehow. Leonard, 98 tackles. Sack totals, 11.5 for Sheard, 8 for Houston, 7 for Ngakwe, 5 for Jones. Interceptions, 5 for Moore, 2 for Willis, a few ones. What about safeties? What about defensive touchdowns? We have a defensive touchdown by Kenny Moore. I mean, is Jake Fromm going to win the offensive rookie of the year? Probably. Actually, no, we're in the AFC, so definitely not. Yeah, there's no way. Because Tua had to have been playing. 
MVP, Marcus Mariota. I just saw a little ticket of somebody betting. They bet 50 on Trubisky to beat or to win the MVP. And it pays out 2000 to 1. So he'd get $10,000 if that happens. There's no chance, don't get me wrong. Herbert's the quarterback in, wow, in Dallas. Okay, that's awesome. So they actually like, wait, 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 where's Prescott? He's on the Giants now. Very interesting. Oh, I love that. Offensive player of the year. Are we going to be here? No, we're not. Defensive player of the year. We don't have anybody. Offensive rookie of the year. Eason, really? Oh, man, he could have been on my team. Two is there at two. Nobody else. Defensive rookie of the year. Woodward at four. And that's going to be it. I mean, should we have gone with Eason? I don't even know. Fromm had three XP points already at the midseason mark. For set as two, that's fine. Four for Fromm, star development. Good, good, good. Our rookie left tackle, he has four. He has 74, not all that great. Pretty good amount of XP on the offensive line, though. Hilton got one. Funches with two. Rogers with two. Campbell with two. What about on defense? Quarterman has three. He'll be a 77. Okari has two. I mean, Gakwe has two. Shear doesn't have any. Willis has three, but that's really not that impressive. We need a strong safety. I don't know about our linebackers right now. I mean, Quarterman and Okari should be fine. We're going to need another end eventually because we signed Shear to two years. Right guard. I think that's it. The Chargers beat the Cowboys 28-14, to so they are back-to-back -back Super Bowl champions. Herbert, 189, two interceptions, so Rivers retired. Interesting. Elliott, 86 yards, two touchdowns. Gordon with 74. Jackson with a touchdown. Receiving Allen, 99 yards with a touchdown. Nothing else too exciting here whatsoever. Wow, that must have been a very boring game. Was it just running, running, running? I, I'm not a big fan of just continually running the ball. Now, did anybody turn us down? We don't want Justin Houston. Autry, we don't want. Wilson, that's right. I want to give him four years, three million. We still have plenty of money to spend in free agency. That's good. He'll come back. Brissett could just walk. Odom hunts there. Walker, that's right. You know, we'll go four years for Walker. If we have to cut him, that's fine. Not a big deal. Good, good, good. Lewis, Muhammad, Thomas. We're good to go there. I want to see who's going to be here. This is usually the running back year, so Elliott could be here. McCaffrey could be here. We have 46.5 in cap space. Miles Garrett is there. All right. He's coming to my team. They have so much money. Why wouldn't they do this? This is never going to happen in real life. The Browns are never going to let him walk away. But if he were to, he's coming to this team. 101 is not enough. We're going to have to increase that a little bit. Let's go six years. Let's go 15 million. And I, you know what? I'm actually, just to make sure he comes to this team, a $12 million signing bonus. 113, exactly what I want. Desmond King. Ooh, John Johnson would fix our strong safety need. I want to see what this does for us. 92 points, barely beats out the Patriots. I want to make sure it happens. So let's go. Actually, is he's a scheme fit. He's not a scheme fit. We could just go with Jenkins for a little bit cheaper. He's a scheme fit. Try to draft somebody later on in the draft. So let's go to 3.1. 94 total points. I think I like that a little bit better. Fournette's there. Justin Houston's still there. Alex Mack. I mean, we have Kelly, but we could put him at right guard if we wanted to. Is there any right guard here? Actually, well, McKinley's there. Oh, no, that's right. We're trying to get Miles Garrett. Maybe we'll try to get him if uh, Garrett turns us down, which I don't really think that's going to happen. Uh, I don't really want that left guard. Is that going to be their best one? What about a right guard? Kyle Long? No. Bowling? No. I mean, I love that Miles Garrett's here. It's awesome. And I think we're making the right moves right now. Yeah, I don't, I mean, Matt Milano's interesting. Put him a right outside linebacker rather than Okari, but I'd rather depend on the free agent. And like, Matt Milano's not the crazy free agent where you just drop every play. And you're like, okay, let's make a smart move right here. Let's bring in, I, no, I don't, I don't really want to do that. We got Jenkins. We got Garrett. Awesome. So I'm having an issue right now. Do we go with this defensive tackle, Miram? He's 7-1 combine, looks amazing. Early first rounder. I know we have Chris Jones, but we have two defensive tackles that we start. Or we could go with Ledford, who I'm not sold on. First in the bench press is good, don't get me wrong. But I think Merrim's a better prospect. So I'm going to take him. 
He's a 77 overall hidden development, 90 strength, 77 block shed, 84 power moves, 68 finesse. In the second round, we're taking strong safety. Dom Cotton looks pretty good. He's a 67 overall normal development, 23 years old, 89 speed, 65 zone, 59 tackle, 74 pursuit. In the third round, we're taking this left tackle, Keith Fisher. Let's take him. He's a 68 overall normal development. He has 88 strength, 71 run block, 79 pass block. I think that's a great third round pick. In the fourth round, we're taking right guard, Josh Brewer. He's a 68 overall hidden development, 21 years old. 86 strength, 69 run block, 77 pass block. Heading into year three, we have an 83 overall team, 89 offense, 85 defense. Frobs an 82, Mac 84, Hilton 90, Funches 83, Rogers 79, Campbell 76. Ebron's at 86, the offensive line, 84, 74, 85, 92, and 74. On defense, Moore 83, and Gakwe 88, Jones 91, Merrim's a 77, Garrett 98, to Sears 78, Rocky Austin 77, Jenkins 83, Leonard 90, Quarterman's a 77, Okery 76, and Hooker's an 85. I think we're going to make the playoffs this year for sure. At the midseason mark, we are tied for second place with the Jaguars at 3 and 4, the Titans 4 and 4, and the Texans 2 and 5. Who's going to be a free agent? That is Quinton Nelson. That's going to cost us a lot of money. Darius Leonard's there as well. But we have $52 million. That's fine. Let's go five years. Let's put him up to $10 million with a $5 million signing bonus. He'll get way more than that if he becomes a free agent. So if we get that, that'll be lucky. Good, good, good. Oh, wow. Braden Smith is there as well. Let's go for Darius Leonard. 513.6. He's going to come on back. Smith. Hines will probably think about. I could probably get a good backup running back in the draft, I have to imagine. We got Smith. Hines is there. Desir's 30. No. Sheard can walk. Ture is a backup for the right price. Yeah, 3.6 for a backup is not that bad. Good, good, good. Lewis, we don't need. Glowinski. Now, that's interesting because we just drafted the guy. I'm going to have to see how the guy that we drafted does because if he does incredible as a ton of XP, we don't need Glowinski. Adams, Alec Cox is there. It's really just Hines, who doesn't cost that much money, but is a 79 overall. I don't know. I'm going to have to think about that one a little bit. How don't we make the playoffs? It makes no sense. I mean, we're an 83 overall team, 89 offense, 85 defense. And better yet, we're 4-12. and 12. At least we stayed consistent. Still tied with the Jaguars. The Titans 7-8-1. and one, The Texans 5-10-1. and one. So it's, there's not even a team in this division that's so good that like it explains why we're not doing good. Jake Fromm, 3,900 yards, 28 touchdowns, 17 interceptions. Great first year of starting. Let's see. Mack, 961, six touchdowns. Hines with three. Receiving Hilton, 898, four touchdowns. Ebron, 808 with seven. Rodgers, 802 with six. Funches with six. Three for Mack. On defense, Okery, 132 tackles. Leonard, 112. Moore with 100. Sack totals, Garrett with 10, and Gakwe, 8.5. Leonard with six. Jones with six. I mean, this defensive line is so, so good. Wilson, two interceptions, a few ones to go around. What do we have for safeties? We have one by Ngakwe. Defensive touchdowns, we have nothing. Now, Jake Fromm could be in the top 10 for MVP. Doesn't look like an East since there. That's going to bite me in the ass, isn't it? I mean, two is up there. We had no chance at him, though. Coach of the year, we're not going to be there. AFC Offensive Player of the Year. Do we have, nope, we didn't sneak our way in. Defensive Player of the Year, there's Okery at four. We have Leonard at seven. I thought Miles Garrett would be up here because he always seems to be up there, but I guess not. Nothing for Offensive Rookie of the Year. We have Merriman number four for Defensive Rookie of the Year. Now, it really depends what this right guard gets, whether we bring back Lewinsky in the, uh, in the offseason. I imagine he has like, he's a 68 overall, so he should have like, he has seven. Okay, so that is enough to be starting. So he's going to be starting over Lewinsky. Maybe I bring back Lewinsky as just a backup. I don't really think that makes sense. Fromm has one XP point. You can't be doing that. Rogers, uh, Rogers with one. One for Campbell. What about on defense? We have one for Garrett. Four for Merrim with superstar development, which is awesome. What about Cotton? What did he get? He got one. Not really what I was expecting right there. All right, that's fine. This team's still good to go for next year. The Buccaneers are Super Bowl champions, beating the Tennessee Titans 25-21. to Don't be Jameis Winston. Of course it's Jameis Winston. This is never, ever, ever going to happen. It's just not going to. It's never going to be Winston versus Mariota. Like, come on. Winston, 289 with a touchdown. Mariota, 274, three touchdowns, one interception. Eckler, 63 yards with a touchdown. Winston with a touchdown. 
receiving Humphreys 8 for 118. Evan 6 for 94. Davis 86 yards. Cutie 71 with a touchdown. One for Fisker. Ferkser? Thought it said Fisker. One for AJ Brown. One for Wilson. Now, did anybody turn us down? I know we were thinking on Hines, but I, I just don't know if he's really worth it. This year, we don't need Hines. I do want to bring him back, too. And we really don't have the money for anybody else, so maybe I just bring him back, see if he takes it. He will. So our team's pretty set in stone. We're just going to have to draft pretty good. What about Glowinski? He's not going to take that, obviously. So we'll be good to go. I do want to go to actually the roster, see if we make any cuts, try to free up some money. We have two seasons left that we're going to do, by the way. Obviously not Miles Garrett or Nelson. Oh, I want to go saving. Sorry about that. Desir is going to be a free agent. Kenny Moore, who's 27. I don't really want to cut him for $5 million. Sanchez, the punter, same thing. Yeah, there's no big gain other than Jones, I suppose. Or uh, Javal Sheard, who's also going to be a free agent. So, no, I'm not going to bring anybody in. And the, you know there's going to be some big name here. I don't know who's... Is, is this like the late, the Van Der Esch year? It might be. Yeah, of course he's there. And that's somebody I'd love to bring in. It's just not possible. I mean, we got Miles Garrett. We got Ngakwe. We kind of picked which way we wanted to go right there. Let's go to the draft. So we have the fourth overall pick. There weren't any good trade offers. We could go with Sherman, the receiver, 6'9 combine. He has great top three skills, but we have Hilton, Funches, Rogers, Campbell. Doesn't make sense. This end actually looks incredible right here. But with Garrett with Ngakwe, doesn't make sense. But what about Darren Riles? Pretty good top three skills. Pretty good combine. He's a scheme fit. What about Bartle? Bartle looks a little bit better. Anything else down here? What about Hillman? Ooh, I think Hillman might be better. Do we go Garrett Hillman? Do we go with Riles? I don't know. Mid first rounder. What does it say that Hillman's going to be? Also a mid first rounder. So I have to pick the better player. Even though Sherman looks so interesting. McDonald though. He, you know McDonald's going to be so good. I just don't think it makes sense. I'm going to take... Yeah, I'm going to go with Hillman. He's a scheme fit. Has better top three skills. Better combine report. Let's take him. He's a 74 overall. Hidden development. 22 years old. 82 tackle. 80 hit power. 81 speed. 79 acceleration. In the second round, we're taking this receiver, Childs. Let's see what he's all about. He's a 74 overall. Normal development. 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 82 catching, 80 catching traffic. In the third round, we're taking strong safety. Damon McLeod looks pretty good. 66 overall, normal development. He has 89 speed, 68 zone, 66 tackles, 75 pursuit. Heading into year four, we're an 82 overall team, 87 offense, 85 defense. Fromm's an 83, Mack 85, Hilton 86, Funches 82, Rogers 79, Campbell 77, Ebron 86. The offensive line, 84, 75, 84, 93, and 75. On defense, Moore 84, Rocky Asins 78, Ngakwe 89, Jones 90, Merrims an 81, Garrett 99. I mean, look at this defensive line. It's so good. Wilson 79, Jenkins 77, Leonard 91, Corderman 78, Okery up to start of element 79, and Hooker's at 85. I don't know where the weak spots are on this team, but we should make the playoffs. I'm sure they'll prove me wrong, though. At the midseason mark, we are in second place at 4-3. and three. The Texans and the Titans are 5-2. and two. The Jaguars are 2-6. and six. It makes sense that the year that we're 4-3, and three, there's two teams that are better than us. That hasn't happened yet. Chris Jones, I want to bring you right on back. Two years, 7.6. That's fair. I'll increase the money a little bit. Let's go like that. He's going to come on back. And Gawkway is still 27, so... Yeah, let's go something like that. 3, 8.7. He's going to come on back. That's good. Funches, I don't think so. Okri, I want to bring back. Rocky Sin, I want to bring back. 4, 6.3. That's good. Rocky Sin, Paris Campbell's there as well. 3, 3 million for Rocky Sin. Okay. Paris Campbell, Melkin Jenkins could just walk. Oh, 2, 2.5. I want to increase that a little bit. He's going to have to step up big time next year with Funches gone and Hilton kind of dropping down. I think we're good to go. I mean, maybe Marvell Tell? I thought he was a safety. I might be completely wrong. Let's go to 1.3. Good, good, good. Let's go to the playoffs, see if we make it. Our team is so good, yet we don't make the playoffs. And let me guess, the Texans did. Yeah, right. I just did a rebuild with them. That's not going to happen. They went 10-6. and six. We went 8-8, eight and eight, tied with the Titans. The Jaguars went 5-11. and 11. 
The Texans are so screwed. Jake Fromm, 4,400 yards, 38 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Awesome. Rushing, Max, 979, five touchdowns. Hines with six. Receiving, Rodgers, almost 1,200 yards, 15 touchdowns. Hilton, 973 with eight. Futches, 800 yards, four touchdowns. Ebron with four. Four for Hines. Campbell with a touchdown. I like to see this a lot. On defense, Leonard, 105 tackles. Sack totals, 12 for Garrett, 9 and a half for Merrim, 7 for Jones, 5 and a half for Okari and Ngakwe. Interceptions, 3 for Moore, 2 for Hooker, 1 for Leonard and Wilson. What about safeties or defensive touchdowns? We have a safety by Merrim. We have no defensive touchdowns, of course, of course, of course. Patrick Mahomes with the MVP. Mayfield Watson. Our guy's just not up here. Nick Mullins is up here, though. Coach of the year, Rod Rivera. Don't know why I thought we were going to be there. Offensive player of the year. Okay, now he's there at nine. I feel like he should be a lot higher than that, but all right. Defensive player of the year. We have nothing. Offensive rookie of the year. We have nothing. Defensive rookie of the year. Oh, what do you know? Nothing yet again. I don't know how you build up a team, like a bunch of good draft picks, a, gun, a bunch of good signings. It's just Is it just Jake Fromm? He's about to be at 86. The offensive line's incredible. Absolutely incredible. Hilton's dropping down a little bit, I suppose. Rodgers has two. He'll be the number two guy next year. Campbell with one. Not a bad number three guy. Five for Merrim to be an 86. That's awesome. Hillman got six to be an 80. I mean, what are we doing here? Okaree's going to be an 81. Quarterman's going to be an 80. We still need a strong safety, I suppose. Our corners are good to go, in my opinion. The Ravens beat the Seahawks 23-19. So Lamar Jackson, right? Yes, 250, two touchdowns. Wilson, 294, one touchdown, one interception. Carson, 51 yards. Howard on the Ravens at 50. Receiving Carson, 85 yards. Quinn, 85 with a touchdown. Disley, 71. Marquise Brown, 66 with a touchdown. Aguilar, 38. Howard with a touchdown. All right, we have one year left. I think we're good to go in our own free agents. We probably have no money to spend, which makes sense, but still disappointing. I do want to check just in case, though. Yeah, I think we're good. Don't need Jenkins. Don't need the left end. Don't need Funches. Is there any way that maybe we can open up a little bit of money, though? Make it some tough cuts? I'll do it if we have to. Kenny Moore. Almost $8 million. Kelly, I'm going to keep. Funches will be gone. Ebron, I'm not going to do. Rodgers, he's up to superstar. Nice. Our punter, our quarterback's going to be gone. There's really nothing there. I mean, we need Kenny Moore for the final run unless we can find somebody in the draft, but that's not like a sure thing right now. So I think what do we, we probably have nothing, right? Yeah, negative $9 million. I can't even make that work. Hudson, Henderson, Campbell... Nobody I even want. Maybe our Sega White side would be nice. I thought it said T.Y. Hilton retired. I almost just lost my mind. Let's go to the draft. We have the 18th overall pick. Obviously, we don't want any of these guys. Left outside linebacker, we don't need. Right tackle doesn't look good. We don't need an end. Receiver, maybe. I don't, I don't think that receiver is going to work out for us. Don't need a right tackle. Now, this middle linebacker, I could definitely get behind that. Let's take Quincy. He's a 69 overall, normal development. Wow, did I swing and miss. 82 speed, 75 tackle, 68 block shed, 82 hit power. In the second round, we're going to take cornerback Marco Peel. He's a 68 overall, normal development. 91 speed, 70 man, 69 zone, 70 play rec. Heading into our final year, we have an 84 overall team, 89 offense, 87 defense. Frobs an 86 up the superstar development. Mac 85, Hilton 83, Rogers 81. Campbell's a 78, Ebron 84, the offensive line, 85, 78, 84, 94, and 78. Pretty good. On defense, more 83, Rocky Sin 79, Ngakwe 90, Jones 90, Merriman's at 86, Garrett's at 99, Wilson 80, Cotton 70, that strong safety we just never got. Leonard 92, Hillman's at 80, Quarterman 80, Okari's at 81, and Hooker up to Superstar, 86. This game's going to let me down, but we should make the playoffs. Yes, we won the division at 9-7. and seven. We'll be playing against the 10-6 and six Buffalo Bills. We have to look at the AFC East. The Texans 9-7, and seven, the Jaguars 6-9-1, and one, the Titans 6-10. and 10. I mean, how do you get a wild card spot at 10-6? and six? The Patriots and the Jets went 10-6. and six. Even the Dolphins did good at 7-9. and nine. That's not bad if three other teams go with 10-6. and six. 
Let's look at the stats. I have a good feeling about this season or about this playoff run. Jake Fromm, 4,700 yards, 34 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Great, great year. Rushing Mack, 1,200 yards, 3 touchdowns. Hines with 11. Receiving Hilton, 1,100 yards, 15 touchdowns. Ebron, 930 with 4. Rodgers, 889, 4 touchdowns. Mack with 3. Campbell with 6, almost 600 yards. Apparently, I should have let Futches walk a long time ago. Okery, 114 tackles. Sack totals, 13 for Garrett, 9 half for Miram, 9 for Ngakwe, 7 and a half for Jones. Interceptions, 2 for Leonard, 2 for Okery. Do we have any safeties? Do we have any defensive touchdowns? A safety by Miram, a safety by Chris Jones. Good, good, good. No defensive touchdowns. Yearly awards. Watson with the MVP. No Jake from whatsoever, right? Or am I just, he's not here. Brissett on the Patriots at number five, though. Coach of the year. Not up here yet again. Uh, wh what's going on? I don't get it. Okay, Jake Fromm's at nine. Defensive player of the year. We have Okri at 10. Offensive rookie of the year. We have Ledford at four. Nothing else. Defensive rookie of the year. We have nothing. I don't, I'm like, I'm very confused. That's the best way to put it. I should be doing so much better than this. Jake Fromm should be in the top 10 for MVP every year. So Jake Fromm's going to be in 90. Hilton with one. Rogers with one. Campbell with one. Pretty good amount in the offensive line. What about on defense? What does Hillman has? He has one. We have two for Merrim. I mean, there's nothing really here, which is very disappointing. I mean, Ledford has two, I guess. What about Childs? He has one. I, I don't know. I feel like we're going to lose to the Buffalo Bills for no reason. We should have more XP. Quincy has four, which is good to see. Thought he'd do a lot better. I thought his development is uh, his overall is going to be better. Can we beat the Buffalo Bills? I know I said I was hopeful. Then I turned back on it. We can. We're playing against the New England Patriots, which, of course, have Jacoby Brissett. So that's going to blow up in our face in probably five seconds. You know, five, four, three, two. We beat them. Good. Now we're playing against the Cleveland Browns, which if we can beat the Cleveland Browns, we're going to win the Super Bowl for sure. So let's sim to that Super Bowl. See if we're going to make it. No, we're not. Man, come on. I thought this was going to be the best run right at the end. Sneak our way into the Super Bowl. Instead, it's Browns versus the Panthers. Oh, it was a close game too. 28 to 21. From 273 touchdowns, one interception. Mayfield 211 with three touchdowns. Chubb 89 yards, Taylor 35, Mac 27. Hilton 8 for 121, two touchdowns, Rogers 65. Beckham 60 with a touchdown, Jones 55. Ebron 40 with a touchdown. Najoku with a touchdown, Landy with a touchdown. But that's going to be it for this rebuild. I think we did pretty good with this team. Got our new quarterback, drafted a ton of good players. Got Ngakwe, we got Miles Garrett. I mean, look, who did we draft here? We drafted Brewer. Oh, what do we do there? I hit B by accident because I have a trigger on the back of my controller. Or, or a, a, what is it? It's not trigger. I forget what, or paddle on the back. Brewer's at an 80. We drafted him. Wango's at an 80. We drafted him. Fisher, 75. What else do we have here? Childs, we drafted. Doesn't matter. From obviously, up the superstar X Factor, 91 overall. Okay, seems pretty good. What about our defense? Merrim up the superstar X Factor. He'll be an 89. Hillman's an 81. Quarterman's an 81. Collins a 72. Did we draft anybody else of note? I don't think so. I think that's it. No, Quincy's up to a 74. So I think we did pretty good on this rebuild. But like I said, that is going to be it for this video. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Success, uh, suggest down in the comments below what other team you want to see me do a rebuild of. And I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.